triple bunk, outside kitchen, kitchen island, and an entrance directly into the bathroom. Folks, this is the 2022 Heartland Mallard M33. So let's start right into the kitchen with the large oversized eight cubic foot refrigerator, which is big in a travel trailer. You have microwave hood, great countertops. They're upgraded so you don't have any T mold. You can see the three burner recessed cooktop there as well, giving you additional prep space, plus all of this space over here. Uh, this is a graystone unit. The knobs light up if you want them to. That same button will also control the light right there in the oven and underneath, you have some pots and pan storage, which I absolutely love. You can also notice that it is not carpeted in there, folks. They use that nylon woven material, which is super easy to clean. Coming over a little bit further, storage galore here in the kitchen. You have storage here. You have a bank of three drawers right over here. More storage in the kitchen island. You know, you have enough space for a trash can there if you want. Just a ton of storage all the way throughout. You get the uh, same upgraded countertops right through here. And because they are the upgraded, it allows you to undermount this stainless steel bowl, high rise pull out faucet, beautiful light fixtures. You can see here, uh, same matching one over in the dinette, which we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, but again, just great space. You get that kitchen island, which is really what I love about this. Uh, the thermostat will be located here. That of course will control both your heat and your AC. You have like a farm style uh, looking door on here right it's not just a plain door they spiced it up making our way into the bathroom as I mentioned direct entrance right from the bathroom so you can come in do your business do what you got to do head right back out I'm six foot tall about 200 pounds you can see I have plenty of leg and shoulder space here uh, good countertop space as well you know you have these back corners for toothbrush or you need to set down a hair dryer whatever else you have space to do that storage underneath plus the mirrored medicine cabinet right up top and if i take a step into the shower again at six foot tall i can stand up in here no problem i can turn around if i have to have the hand wand there shower off nice and easy and the great thing about having a tub is if you have small kids you can give them a bath and because you have that higher threshold on the tub wall it allows the curtain to stay in the tub so you don't have a bunch of water splashing all over the place making our way to the back Take a look at this. This is awesome storage. You get, uh, wait, you're probably not gonna be able to see it here, but you get <laughs> wardrobe on one side and then you have shelving all down this side. So you have a couple different storage options. So if you wanna use that for kids' clothes, you can. If you wanna use part of that as a linen closet, you can do that too. Making our way to the back, you have a skylight right there up top. Uh, one bunk over to the side, 300 pound weight capacity, a spot for your TV, storage all the way around it. Across the way are your other two bunks. One of them will be in the form of this flip up bunk, which is 200 pounds. And then right underneath is I like your gaming chairs, right? You gotta love that. Those fold out into additional beds too. So uh, you do have a lot of sleeping space here. And again, as I mentioned, good storage space right there. As we make our way out, you get into the super slide. Big U-shaped dinette, so you have room for everyone to sit around, play games together, eat a meal together, plus it drops down into a, um, uh, a nice big bed, so you kind of have some different options there, which are great. As far as the colors, if this is a little bit too dark for you, it is reversible, so you can have this lighter color if you want that. Uh, so you do have some different color options on the U-shaped dinette, which I really like. I think that's it's such a simple thing to do, and it's so smart. Plus easy access to anything underneath the dinette if you need to get in there. It's very uh, easy to get to. You'll also see your sofa right over to the side. Nice and comfortable. Uh, this one, you can see right here. This is kind of neat. So this pulls out and it has your cushion for your bed. So the way this one works is the top jackknifes down. You have this part out. You take the cushion, throw it on top, and that gives you uh, the extra sleeping space. The cool thing about that, let's say you don't need the sleeping space, you can take that cushion out, leave it at home, and now you just have all this underneath for storage. So a couple different options based upon how you plan on using your RV. And then right before we go up front, you have this half wall. You can see it fits up to a 55-inch TV. So if you're looking for a travel trailer, a family unit, where you're able to have a big TV, this is an excellent option. You can see uh, your main controls will be located here from your slides to your lights as well as your power awning. This is super cool. 
take a look at this. This actually slides open and you have some hidden storage right there. Um, you know, if you need something for security or whatever else it may be, you have some places right there where you can hide some items uh, where most people just aren't going to know to look. So I, I do like that. You will also see right over to the sides, again, more storage space there. You have your multimedia center plus a fireplace, which not only looks great, but will kind of help take the chill out of the air. And as we make our way right up front here into the bedroom, I mean, you have a couple different windows, one over here, emergency exit over to the side here. The bed will be right in the front, storage on both sides with decorative, uh, decorative glass. Plus, you will see that you have storage all the way across the top and a slider door for additional privacy. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2021 Heartland Mallard M33. Right up front is an LCI power tongue jack. This does make it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Uh, simply flip the rocker switch to extend and retract the tongue. Also, it has a light for added visibility at night. This is also what you will use to level the tra trailer front to back. So again, having that power feature makes life a lot easier. Behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover, rails for your battery here, battery disconnect so you can quickly and easily shut off all power to the RV and on the far side is solar prep. So if you want solar, right there it is, just buy the Furion portable panels, plug them in, uh, they will have a controller built into the panel and that will trickle charge your battery, you'll be good to go. You'll also see a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly on the Mallard, which will help uh, you know, keep things a little bit warmer in some of the colder seasons. Uh, so you know, if you're getting late into the fall, something like that, you'll be good to go. You'll also see right up top is your three-quarter front cap, absolutely gorgeous. You have the faux windshield up there, plus all sorts of LED lights helping to make that front end pop. With the Mallard, you get what they call King Kong size storage. It's nice and big. It also has slam latch and a magnetic catch. When we take a look inside, you'll see this one comes with a grill, which is always a nice bonus. And again, just a ton of storage in there. A couple LED lights too, plus uh, some tools in case you have to do any kind of manual overrides on things like your tongue jack or your stabilizer jacks, which speaking of the stabilizer jacks, you can see those right down there. The controls, those are going to be power stabilizer jacks. The controls for them will be on the off camp side. I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, tinted windows, you have a power awning with an LED light strip right up above that. That does come up and over your slide right here too. You will have two entrances as we talked about. Um, this one right here will be your main entrance. So this one you get the more ride step above step system, excellent step system, aluminum treads on there, flips up into the door cavity during travel. You have adjustable feet as well. Coming back a little bit further, uh, this one also has the wide track suspension on it, which is going to be a spread axle system, which gives you better towability when going down the road because it helps uh, reduce sway. If you want to listen to music outside, folks, there are speakers built into the, the slide right there too, so that way you can jam out. Um, if you need to plug anything in, it does come with an electrical outlet right back here on the outside. Next to that is a black tank flush. I don't particularly love uh, the proximity of these two because I don't know about your hoses, but my hoses always leak. Uh, but this is a black tank flush, so you can put it in there. Just make sure this is closed when you do it. Um, just hook your hose up right there and that'll wash out your black tank. So any uh, pa uh, toilet paper, anything that gets left behind uh, will be able to wash out. If you use that, folks, please, please, please make sure there is a warning right here. You have to leave that black tank valve open. Otherwise, you're going to fill it up too quickly. You're going to uh, drop your black tank and you are going to be in a world of hurt. Right behind that is your second entrance. These are your standard pull-out steps. That one goes right into the bathroom as we saw. And one of my favorite parts about this bunkhouse layout is the outside kitchen. I love this outside kitchen, folks. Uh, you, you have you know the nice decorative wood just like you have inside for your cabinets. Um, you know, it just gives it kind of that residential home look. You have enough space up here for cups, plates. Uh, if you want to put, um, you know, some liquor in here, you can do that as well. Just gives you a, a lot of room. You have a light up top, you know, another shelf there. I love kind of this backsplash look. If you want a TV, you have space for a TV there too. Sink over to the side, pull out. Whoops. Oh, looks like uh, one of the... <laughs> One of the um, glides is loose there, but this is gonna be pull out prep space. So you can slide that out, which is really nice. Gotta tighten that guy up. And then over to this side is going to be your drawer. Plus of course, my favorite part, the outside fridge. It is a taller fridge, which I absolutely love. 
Um, so that way you can fit more stuff in there, obviously. And underneath is your propane quick connect. So if you have a grill or anything you wanna hook up, you saw the grill that was in there, uh, you can do that. If you use the grill that comes with it, you'll have the arm right here, mounts right to this arm. You can swing it out and around. If you have your own grill, like a Blackstone, something like that, again, you can absolutely hook it up right in there. On the very back is an outside shower with both hot and cold water access. You'll also see your city water inlet, cable inlet there. Mounted to the bumper is your spare tire, which is very easy to get to. And if you take a look up top, you will also see this one has uh, your backup camera prep. Now I talked about your power stabilizer jacks. You will see one control right here for your rear two jacks. You will have another control up front for your front two. Um, your termination will be located right in between your two slides. You will also see that this one comes with a 50 amp detachable power cord. It's gonna have to be 50 amp, you know, cause you have uh, a couple ACs, fireplace in there as well. And I like having a detachable because if you ever bend the prongs or anything on it, you can just buy a new power cord nice and easily. It's not gonna be a costly thing for you. Last thing I wanna to touch on right up here, uh, folks, is your fresh water inlet. Um, you will see it right underneath that uh, will be your um, Dometic water heater. So right there is that bad boy. And underneath, as I mentioned, is your control for your front two stabilizer jacks. And that wraps up the 2022 Heartland Mallard M33. Folks, if you love what you're seeing here and you're looking for price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.